Last week, Amazon Prime released another movie for your dad to fall asleep watching called Canary Black. A film starring the action female equivalent of Liam Neeson. I actually watched it last week and was going to put out a review, but 10 minutes after finishing the film, I completely forgot it existed. It's another exclusive streamer! Hey, as I'm going through this film, I should remind you that uh, you can subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like the video all free of charge. It's actually a really great service. It does me a favor, and it doesn't cost you a dime. In a never-ending sea of femme fatale films, how does Canary Black stand head and shoulders above the rest? I'm, a I'm asking you because I truly don't know. And I'm not so sure Mrs. Underworld cares in the slightest. Because she keeps churning these things out. And I don't blame either of them. They found a niche. It works for them as they're starting to age up. That doesn't mean I have to enjoy their films. And I certainly didn't with Black Canary. A movie so incredibly lame across the board with twist reveals you see coming a mile away if you've watched any film in this genre. This truly is a movie you put on on a Sunday afternoon and you fall asleep on the recliner watching. And really, that should just be a subgenre at this point. Now maybe you, your dad, grandpa, whoever is just a big Beckinsale fan and they'll watch anything she's in. She's not really in this. And by she's not really in this, I don't mean she doesn't have screen time. She's very much focal. She's front and center. And I think she did a bunch of her own stunts, according to her Instagram, where she was showing the bruises and nicks and cuts. But um, she's doing a bizarre accent. It almost looks like it's voice modulized. I imagine that's the case. Either that or she must have taken up smoking in the last year and went through like a pack every few hours because her voice is rough. Maybe she's attempting an American accent and this is how she's playing it, but ugh, it's, it's awful. As for her stunt work, her physicality, eh, it's all fine. You know, it's masking a lot with shaky cam stuff. Not over the top shaky cam, it's, it's fine. But everything is very just kind of generic across the board. There was one good scene in the movie where she had a bouncing Betty under her. And as soon as she removes her foot, it shoots up into the air and blows up. So she has to figure out a way to get out of the situation. There was a sliver of tension there. I was like, okay, this is... This is interesting. But then I was thinking, well, I could just watch Blown Away if I want to watch a bunch of cool tension with bomb stuff. I think the last time I saw a good spy action thriller with a woman was Atomic Blonde, and that was quite a few years ago. Great movie, though. Watch that over this with Charlize Theron. She does a great job. Cinematography is really solid. The action's great. Good choreography. This doesn't really have any of that. It, this film looks cheap, has that digital stank on it, straight to streaming look. The characters across the board are incredibly bland. The locations feel empty. It's uninspired. Like, this is just bottom-of-the-barrel crap you put on in the background. If we compare Canary Black to the new Ballerina coming out, just the trailer for Ballerina looks light years better than this. From the visuals to the way the stunt work is framed up, that's competently made. This feels like, let's just get this shit out the door as fast as we can. Prime needs another exclusive for Friday. We have to have something to heavily promote. And this film is being heavily promoted. It's still ranked like number five worldwide. I don't know where they're coming up with these numbers, if they're actually real or not. I call shenanigans. Who the fuck is watching... Well, besides me. Who the hell is watching this and who is actually making it through this thing? I was sitting there miserably watching after about 45 minutes. The movie's rated R. It's an hour 40 long. I'm not even sure why it's rated R. I guess there's some violence and some swearing. It just, everything feels, I'm so desensitized by all of it now that, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, it's, it's rated R for something. That's Canary Black, a movie you'll forget about almost instantly after watching the film until you're reminded once again by another obnoxious advertisement that this movie is exclusive on Amazon Prime. <laughs> All right, let me know if you watch this one. The next film I'm gonna talk about is somehow I think even worse than this, if you can even imagine that. So definitely subscribe if you wanna hear more movie commentary, rants, roasts, reviews, all things movies all the time. Would love to hear from you. If you've been here for a while, maybe think about supporting this one man band at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. The biggest thing I just launched kind of quietly over the weekend is a merch store. So you can check that out. There should be shirts right under this video even, but uh, yeah, there's a merch store up, Adam Does Movies. Some really fun t-shirt designs that I threw out myself. I think you'll enjoy some of them if you've been here. 
just another way to show a little bit of support to the channel. I would appreciate it. All right, hopefully I see you next time. Take care.